you might have been noticing lately that your vocabulary has changed. You may have noticed that you have begun to get more insight on the Bible. You may have begun to notice that things have gotten deeper with your understanding of the Bible, with the Word of God. You may have noticed that a lot of things have have changed. When I say changed, I mean like you have wanted God more and more and more lately. You see, you may be one of those people who had didn't have much of a vocabulary. You didn't have people looked at you like you was more of a shy person, you know, and you and you you didn't really, you know, it was hard for you to speak up at times. You know, a lot of times it was more of a you barely talked, either ver- either barely talked. Or you didn't really have much to say. But lately, they've been seeing that you've had a lot to say. And when you've been saying it, it's been biblical. When you've been saying it, it's been, you've been even realizing it yourself that it's been more deeper with the Bible and the word of God. And and just God has been taking you deeper. That is not you. For sure, it's not you. It's the Holy Spirit. It's God. You see, you wouldn't have been able to do all this by yourself. So God is showing those people that they had it wrong about you. You see, all your life, you have been to the point where as they looked at you like you was a slow learner. They looked at you like you, you, you. You had like some type of disability and now they're actually jealous of your disability. And when I say jealous, I mean they don't understand how they thought that you couldn't speak. They thought that you couldn't learn. They thought that you was basically um, had a, a some kind of disability. And now they're looking at you differently. But this is God. See, God is going to, God will use the foolish things to shame, to shame the world, to to shame the wise. God will use the foolish things to shame the wise. And the weak things of this world to shame the strong. You see, a lot of people have looked at you as A clutch. You had like a clutch, if that's the words. You had like a, you didn't have it all together. You was just, you was just, you was something different about you. But that difference about you was God. It's your call on your life. You're chosen. You see, if you notice in the Bible, when David, David was a shepherd boy. That means he was all, you know, he... He, he, he was all, you know, a shepherd boy, which is out in the shepherd field. Just, he didn't have on a suit. He didn't have one, you know, he, he probably had all kinds of shepherd smell all over him or the sheep smell all on, all over him. Cause he, he was a shepherd boy, but God took him from being a shepherd boy all the way to being a king. You see, nobody looked at you as being that called person. Oh, they didn't look at you like that. That's just the that's the person who something's wrong with them. They they learn different. They're they're something's is something wrong. They they different than anybody else. But that was God doing that to you. You see, God created us. So he knew us before the world even began. He knew you before you was even formed in your mother's womb. He knew you. God created our minds. God created our bodies. God created everything about us. So he knew exactly what he put on the inside of you. But they thought God was hiding you. They thought that something was wrong with you. They thought 
that you learn different. They thought that you didn't have much of a vo- much of a vocabulary. They thought it was everything that God hid you. He hid you. He was hiding you. That's what was taking place there. And now they're beginning to see there's something different about you completely. And and it's and they know that you was not that way. That's God. That's God. Keep continuing to seek God. You see Daniel when Daniel fast, when Daniel fast for for uh the, the 21 days and they fast for 10 days. It was a 10 day fast. They begin Daniel begin to get the abilities to be able to to interpret visions and dreams. God began to give him the ability to do more. Throughout the Bible, they fast. Clarity. God is beginning to do some things, even in your mind. In your mind. Solomon. Solomon was the richest man. God gives us the ability. He said he gives us the power to get wealth. And this isn't just about wealth. This is about God gives you the ability to, to be able to, and to be able to understand things. He gives you understanding. Understanding comes from God. Knowledge comes from God. The world wants to have knowledge. The world wants to be smart. We, a lot of times people think that they're extremely intelligent, but it's the world's intelligency. You want what God's intelligence, you want God's wisdom, God's intellect. You don't want the world's wisdom. And they looked at you as you didn't have the world's wisdom, but you didn't need to because God already knew what he had. God already had his hand upon you. So your wisdom is coming from God. It's not the world's wisdom. And they're going to see this in the end. God has got some things that he's doing, but he wants you to be to have gratitude, gratitude, meaning to appreciate where you are. When you appreciate where you are now, God can do more. Don't be so far to be ahead of yourself. God is about to do some things in you that is going to shock the people around you. It's going to shock the world. Do you remember when Solomon, people came around him because of it was the things that he said, the things that he does. People wanted to hear just him speak. Just him speak. I want you to hit the notification button. I want you to share this video for others. You are chosen. You are called. That's why you were different. I'm going to be posting some more videos. I'm going to also be starting a membership because I want to go deeper into this. There is some things that you were different about. Since you grew, the whole time you've been growing up, you're different. But the world looked at you as that you were, you were different and different, meaning you didn't have it all together because God is putting his knowledge in you. The world has its wisdom, which isn't accurate, but God, God's wisdom and knowledge is different. I pray that this helps you. I'm going to be doing a membership channel. Um, it's going to be on this channel, but it's going to be doing the membership because I want to go deeper. I want to go deeper into this. Share this video. God bless you. Be blessed.